Greetings all. It is my privilege as minister at Bells Hill Central Parish Church to add a word of congratulations and thanks to Alan Matthew, our resident organist, on what is the celebration of the 50th episode of The Organist Entertains, a golden episode. What a wonderful privilege it is to be serving at Bells Hill Central and to be blessed with the gift and the gifts of Alan Matthew. As you might well know, our church is richly steeped in song and in music, and Alan continues that fine tradition. He not only shares his gifts and invites each one of us week by week to delight in the presence of God in and through the gift of music and song, but he is also responsible for so much of the editing and behind-the-scenes work that makes our online ministry a possibility. And so thank you, Alan. Special thank you to those who have joined us near and far in celebrating the gift of God's loving and gracious presence in and through the gift of hymn and song, in and through the gift of music and reflection. For those who have submitted requests, for the way in which Alan has sought to honor those requests, for the journey that continues. 50th episode. It is a delight to give thanks and praise to God for the gift of music and song. May you enjoy this particular episode again, and we pray God's richest blessing upon you, your life, and your journey. Giving thanks to God, in Jesus' strong name. Amen. Hello, folks. Good morning good afternoon or good evening. Whenever this special 50th episode of The Organist Entertains comes to you. We have already had a greeting from our minister, Kevin De Beer, and we thank him for his lovely, uplifting and grateful message. Tonight is more than definitely a bumper edition. And it would be remiss of me not to stand tonight with the star of the show behind me, the organ here at Bells Hill Central Parish Church. The first item tonight in a list of 28 items is something which I have chosen because I think it is so appropriate. Last year, we, I, started playing for you some of our psalms and paraphrases which have graced our praise lists over the years. And I thought that there was no better way to start tonight's 50th episode with the old hundredth. All people that on earth do dwell. It is, of course, to the Sam tune Old Hundred. But because tonight is a celebratory episode, we are having the Vaughan Williams arrangement of it, arranged for Queen Elizabeth II's coronation in Westminster Abbey. So I'm sorry, all you part singers out there. There's not many verses with your usual alto tenor and bass lines. But I do hope that you forgive me because it is such a joyful and happy arrangement of the old hundredth. All people that on earth do dwell. <laughs>
as we go through tonight's 50th episode, it's going to be interspersed with video messages from various people who have sent in their thoughts, their hymns and song requests and other messages mm -hmm. about the, the previous 49 episodes. The next hymn, I am really not sure how it didn't form part of the, the top tier of requests. Later on, I'm going to share with you some statistics and some of the top requests that we've had. This hymn has been requested by two people. It has been requested by a Sheila Miller, who lives in Tweedbank and who tunes in regularly to our organist entertains. It's also been requested by a member here at Bells Hill Central Parish Church. And through the wonders of technology, Peggy Walker has been able to ask Anne Dillon why this song is her favourite. So Anne, why do you like As the Deer Pants for the Water? Well, I absolutely love this hymn. And when I this hymn comes on, I feel I love every word it, and it's how I feel about the Lord. Excellent. That was lovely. That was really nice. And that is true. I believe you. Getting you better. I do, I believe you. That was lovely.
Hi Alan, the reason I'm asking you to play It Is Well With My Soul or another title I sing When Peace Like a River is because the melody and the lyric is very uplifting. Recently with the COVID-19 happened, uh, a number of my extended families in Indonesia uh, unfortunately pass away and listening to this hymn is helped me to cope emotionally so thank you for playing this hymn
Hello. We would like to request for the special programme Perhaps Love, which was a minor hit for Placido Domingo and John Denver. Uh, Hugh was introducing this song the first time we met and I think the lyrics and the, the music is very interesting. Uh, it's a easy listening song, yet the, it's a very good message about love. And uh, we were hoping it would be a featured song at our wedding, so we'd like a preview beforehand. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Bye. Thank you to both Nikki and Hugh for their two requests. It's lovely to have someone else introduce our hymns and songs. Our fifth request comes before I introduce some of our top requests. The hymn is introduced by the person who has requested it, and I do hope that everyone is so pleased to see this person being in touch with us and keeping connected with his kirk back here in Bells Hill. I am Tom Lane speaking to you from beautiful Vancouver Island over in Canada. My wife and I were members of what is now Belsill Central Parish Church for many, many years. And I greatly appreciate that with YouTube, I can 
tune in and watch and take part in the services and thoroughly enjoy the organ entertains. My wife and her sister Nan were members of the choir for many, many years and their favourite hymn is How Great Thou Art. I would appreciate if you could include this in your programme. Thank you. Wasn't it lovely to hear from Tom all the way over in Canada and how through the wonders of technology he's still part of his church family here at Bells Hill.
Before I move on to sharing with you three of the most requested hymns and songs over the past 50 episodes, I'm going to hand over to a very important person in the Church of Scotland who has taken time out of his busy schedule to send us a message. I do hope that you enjoy this special message for us all at The Organist Entertains. Hi everybody, I'm Martin. I'm presently the moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. I wonder how you have coped with and are coping with the pandemic lockdown restrictions. I remember the first lockdown. There was almost a degree of novelty to it, but this time around it's been a real dreary drudge, hasn't it? Days seem to merge into weeks. And here we are, almost a year on since the whole thing started. Well, I am glad that there have been folks across our congregations and across our communities who have sort of risen to the fore in attempts to keep us all going. And to that end, I especially want to thank Alan, the organist entertains. He's there now, 50 weeks. 50 times the organist has entertained and I don't know about you but efforts like Alan's have gone so far to keeping our spirits up through what's been a very difficult year. So I give thanks for Alan for his commitment to entertaining us at the organ and I pray for him and for your congregation as we go forward ultimately of course out of lockdown and back to well, not so much back to the way it was, but back into something more normal and perhaps a whole new day for the church and for our country. Blessings, folks. Thank you. Thank you, Martin, for that lovely message showing how grateful we all are for everything that everybody has done through lockdown. And thank you from me for such kind words. I'm sure that everybody associated with Bells Hill Central appreciates the time that you've taken. The Organist Entertains began with its first video episode on the 17th of May, 2020. However, that was not the start of The Organist Entertains. The Organist Entertains had been going for at least a month before that as I came over to church to check on the organ, play some notes, fiddle with some keys and just generally make sure that this important piece of kit that we have at Bell Cell Central was behaving itself and nothing untoward was happening. I would sit with my mobile phone, record a couple of bits and pieces and I put it into our church WhatsApp chat group, which got people requesting hymns that they'd like to hear. Alexa Walker was one of the first, I believe, quickly followed by Jim Mackey, then my mum, and various others followed suit. As the, the weeks went on, following that initial recording and taking requests, I felt that there was a need for people to be connected with our church. So, as I say, on the 17th of May, we aired our first video episode of The Organist Entertains. And that is how we come to episode 50. The first episode, when I look back on it, was quite crude and rudimentary in its putting together and editing. I sat down in the organ pit with three books on the, the music desk in front of me because there had been three hymn requests made for that first episode, which I have to say only lasted 10 minutes. The first three items to grace our screens for the Organist Entertains were the hymns, I Need Thee Every Hour, 
All to Jesus I surrender and colours of day. How times have changed. Not, no longer do we have 10 minutes of an episode. We sometimes have sections of 10 minutes where we have particular things from particular people. I've got to say a great big thank you to Peggy Walker, who has, unbeknown to me, kept a record of every hymn, song and request which has been made over the, the 50 episodes. Now, not including episode 50, there have been 494 separate requests over the last 50 episodes. And that now allows me to share with you what is the organist entertains most requested hymn. Now, are you all sitting comfortably? And if I had drums, I would do a drum roll. The most requested hymn is The Lord's My Shepherd. It's no surprise, it's a psalm well loved by us all here in Bell South Central and most churches up and down the land. The Lord's My Shepherd has been set to many a tune and arranged by many people. And over the course of the last 50 episodes, it has been requested, played and sung to Cremond, Wiltshire, Orlington, Brother James's heir and Covenanters. We also have had the Stuart Town End version with the lovely chorus. Tonight, we are going to have it to the tune which everybody expects it sung to, Cremond. But I am going to play one verse of the following tunes. Brother James's heir, Orlington, and Wiltshire. So for all those people that have requested the 23rd Psalm, it's thanks to you that this is our most requested, our most loved hymn over the last 50 episodes. <laughs>
Could I request the hymn Great is Thy Faithfulness? It's in memory of a friend of mine who had breast cancer. And while she was ill, I used to go and visit her a lot. And she was in her bedroom and I was sitting at her bedside and she mentioned this hymn and she said, I especially like the line, All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. And I never forgot it. And it actually, it got played at her funeral. So in memory of May Thompson, I would like to hear Great is Thy Faithfulness. Now moving on to the next most popular set of hymns, we have three tied in third, self, sorry, second place. One hymn is going to feature later on, which has been specifically requested for tonight, so I'm going to put it aside for the time being. Our next most popular request is Love Divine, or Love's Excelling. And thanks to Peggy, we have sung it to Hifridal, Blinwern, and Love Divine. Now, tonight, I am using Blinwern. And the reason for that is the last time we sang it, we used Hifridal. So to keep everybody happy, I'm going to have Blinwern tonight. Mm -hmm. 
If this isn't your favourite tune to the words, my apologies. But as an organist, I find it difficult to keep everybody happy. And I usually am talking about the choir when I say that. So my apologies if this isn't your favourite tune. But one of our top requested hymns over the last 50 episodes is Charles Wesley's words, Love Divine, All Love's Excelling. The last of the top tier of hymns, which I'm going to introduce just now, is What a Friend We Have in Jesus. This has been requested five separate times over the last 50 episodes. It's also rather poignant that this hymn features as the organist entertains from here at Bells Hill Central's top tier of hymns. We lost our oldest member, Mrs. Betty Toll, who passed away just last week. And this was one of her favourite hymns, which meant a lot to her. So, as I say, it's particularly poignant that what a friend we have in Jesus is being included in tonight's episode, the episode to be aired after we lost Betty, and that it was one of our most favourite hymns, which meant so much. So here we have, What a Friend We Have in Jesus.
The Organist Entertains has meant so much to so many people. It has reached out well beyond the, the four walls, which is Bell South Central's building, long past the, the boundaries of our parish, long past the boundaries of Bells Hill, North Lanarkshire, Scotland, mm -hmm. and even the United Kingdom itself. One of the people reached out to and touched by The Organist Entertains is Mark Nightingale, who has been a friend and follower of our episodes for many an episode. Today's 40th, no, 50th episode comes to us on the 24th of February. And tomorrow, the 25th of February, who is Mark's mum and dad's 65th wedding anniversary. Such a milestone. Now we do know that mum, Mark, is not with you and dad. She is being looked after in care home. But mum and dad still are much in love and it's not going to be too long so that the restrictions are going to be relaxed according to the news where people in nursing homes, care accommodation are going to have people able to visit them once more. So hopefully you or dad or both of you will get to see mum soon. The hymn which is one of Mark's mum's favourites is All Things Bright and Beautiful. And I did speak with Mark to make sure that the correct tune was played tonight. It's not the tune Royal Oak, it's simply the tune All Things Bright and Beautiful. So for your mum and your dad's 65th wedding anniversary tomorrow, here is All Things Bright and Beautiful.
Mark's mum and dad renewed their wedding vows 15 years ago at the church where they were married. They were able to see their original entry in the register of the church. And they were able to re-sign the marriage register there on the occasion of their renewal of vows. Their granddaughter was there and Mark played the organ for that renewal of vows service. The hymn, not surprisingly, is Love Divine, All Love's Excelling, which we've had already as part of our top tier of hymn requests. However, the tune which Mark played as organist that day was the tune Love Divine Itself by Stainer. So here we have a selection of verses requested by Mark for his mum and dad as we continue to think of their 65th wedding anniversary. Our next hymn, the, the ninth on my list, however, I did include the top three at, at, at one entry, so we, we, we're past nine. However, our next entry is a hymn requested by the moderator of the Church of Scotland's General Assembly, the Reverend Dr. Martin Fair. And it only was fair that we included his request tonight because he most graciously and generously provided a little video to be included tonight. When I asked him what his hymn request could or should be, he came back very quickly. That has to be, Be Thou My Vision. It's a great hymn of faith, which many, many people love. It's a hymn which has stood the test of time. And it is a hymn which I know is dearly loved by many people who tune in to The Organist Entertains. So thank you, Martin, for requesting Be Thou My Vision to the Irish tune Slain.
Lord, you have come to the seashore. That's the missing hymn from the top tier of all of our requests and dedications over the last 50 episodes. It has been requested by Zandra Swan, member here at Bell South Central, part of our finance committee and an, an elder on our Kirk session. Zandra loves this hymn. It has so much meaning to her and her family. And it's one of those hymns which just sums up her faith that if she were a boat rocking on the water, that Jesus is there to steady that boat. So we have for you, Zandra, one of your favourite hymns, and one of the favourite hymns of the organist entertains. Lord, you have come to the seashore. <laughs>
our next request hasn't been a hymn request. It's a tune request. It has been requested by choir member here at Bell South Central, Elspeth Dornan. The tune which she loves dearly is the tune Picardy. It's a tune which I am fairly fond of myself. The words which are going to appear on the screen for it is Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence, which is a hymn suitable for communion. However, the tune, that's why Elspeth has chosen it. The organ here at Bells Hill Central has some lovely, fiery reed stops. It also has some delicate string stops. Its full and rich sound possibly wouldn't be amiss in France, where this tune is played very often. So, Elspeth, I hope that you enjoy the tune Picardy and the Tiers de Picardy at the end, which for the people who, who are a little bit musical, who maybe don't know their musical terms, this hymn tune is in the minor key. However, I'm finishing it with a major chord, and I know that Elspeth likes a good Tiers de Picardy. I've also done a little bit of an improvisation on it, which I know that Elspeth will love. So here we have a hymn, Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence, to the tune of Picardy, which will let you hear some of the loudest sounds from our organ, but then, in quick contrast, some of the quietest and most gentle stops.
I think we are almost at the halfway point tonight. And I am going to hand over to Stanley Cook, our session clerk. He interviewed me during the week. He asked me some questions, which people have been suggesting for quite a while now, to be fair. But I thought the 50th episode was the place to share them. So whilst I have a break, whilst you have a break, let's turn to some questions and answers which Stanley asked of me during the week. And we both hope that you find them interesting and informative. Okay. Alan, have you always had an interest in music? And why did you choose to play the organ? Well, the story goes that I wanted to play the piano. My mum had the piano in the house and I was always trying to play the thing. The way that I remember it is that I was dragged kicking and screaming to piano lessons. So there's probably a bit of both uh -huh. or a bit of truth to both stories there that I was probably interested in playing the piano as a, a youngster and get taken to piano lessons and didn't always maybe enjoy it to begin with, I suppose. Um, but playing the organ was my grand's doing. There was a, an advert in the Wishaw Press for the Hamilton Presbytery Organ Scholarship, which she filled in and applied for me. And then I got invited to an audition over in Straven. And that's how that all started. Good. Uh, and what prompted you to consider doing the organist entertains? Well, as, as you know, as part of the church WhatsApp group, um, I started going over after I had started to feel better after not being well to double check that the organ was behaving itself. And in the church WhatsApp chat, I said, would somebody like me to play a hymn or something like that whilst I was there? Um, so I think you got a, a hymn or two um, and other people got some. And it just kind of grew arms and legs from that. More and more people were kind of interested in the stuff that was going on in the chat that I thought I would just video it. And it kind of started from there. The fact that it seems to have snowballed somewhat now, you must get tremendous satisfaction from the fact that so many people ask for requests from literally all over the world. Yeah, I do. Um, it's it's something that's keeping me busy during lockdown, I have to say. Um, I know lots of folk have found the stuff that they do has disappeared. So they might go to work and then come back home and then not have a lot to do. But on that side of the coin, so to speak, it's something that's keeping me busy but on the flip side of the coin it's really good to be in touch with and speak to and hear the feedback from folk that, that are requesting that are listening or that just simply tune in to see what's going on so yeah it does make me feel kind of good mm -hmm. I think that the fact that you seem to have helped so many people uh, during this lockdown situation uh, by doing these requests, how does that make you feel? Um, well, it's always been to help people be connected, either air church building, because they come to it normally Sunday by Sunday, or it's helping other people that are disconnected from their own church building be connected to ours. So the fact that I know that it's helping that way. I suppose it does make me feel as if I'm doing a little bit of usefulness over the course of this COVID-19 pandemic that, that yeah, I'm having to go over, keep an eye on the organ. Um, I wouldn't say I practice whilst I'm there, but I am suppose I'm keeping the fingers and the feet moving. But the good byproduct of it is that people are enjoying it and they are it's given them something to do on a Wednesday night and it's given them something to think about Wednesday to Wednesday if they want to maybe think of a, a hymn or a song. There's actually a woman that got in touch from 
Tweed Bank, um, who used to sing. And what she does after the episodes now is she goes and looks up her old hymn books to see if she can find the stuff that we've had. And she has a bash at, at, at looking them up, singing them and doing whatever she does. So, um, yeah, it's good to know that what we're doing, what I'm doing is useful and people are grateful for it. Yeah. Good. Well, as I, I think I, I speak on behalf of everyone in our church <coughs> and I presume the wider community, uh, everyone uh, really benefits from this, the, both the Sunday service and the organist entertains. Obviously, the lockdown is eventually going to come to an end. Do you see it continuing in some form on a Wednesday evening or will that be the end of it, do you think? No, I think that people do, well, we are a, a church at Bells Hill Central that, that do love to sing and love our music. And we do the big sings a couple of times per year anyway. And the organist entertains, I can see it continuing. Maybe not on a weekly basis, but on a, on a monthly basis, maybe. Um, because it's good to keep folks connected. The likes of people in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, who, who they, yeah, they might tune in virtually to a big thing, but to, but to have their own request and hear their name getting mentioned, I think would be a good thing. Um, and we've got our own housebound members that, that don't get to church and it's a it's a thing that would be good to keep going for them and other people who maybe just want to tune in once a month on a Wednesday night to their what would become a monthly organist entertains so yeah once lockdown finishes it will continue in some shape or form it's been brought to my attention by one or two people that <coughs> during the lockdown it has not forced but encouraged a lot of the more senior members of the church to focus into the new technology and get involved in YouTube and all these kind of things, uh, Zoom and all this conferencing thing. Uh, obviously, that's been a good thing because they'll now have this talent, this ability. So you see it continuing then and they can still join in. Certainly. Um, once I get to grips with a little bit more of the technology, hopefully instead of it being pre-recorded as it is just now um, it might turn into a live production if you want to call it that um, because just now nobody's allowed in the church whilst I'm doing the recording yeah. um, but once lockdown's over and all the folks that are watching and taking part have um, as you say got to grips with the technology it, it would be quite good to make it more interactive when it continues after lockdown, if I myself get to grips with the other technology where it would be live and people could make a request there and then, or, and I'm sure the technology is out there that we could do what we are doing just now, um, that if somebody requests something, I'm sure that their picture could go at the bottom of the screen and there could I could have a conversation with them as well. So, yeah, the technology has been it's been a great godsend and it's forced lots of people to get to grips with it that they might not have ordinarily done. Yeah. But going forward, it, yeah, it's something that the organist entertains and me will need to uh, get to grips with so that we um, keep going with it. Good. Well, I think, Alan, on behalf of everyone, uh, I think we would offer you our sincere congratulations on your 50th edition. And uh, long may it continue. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Stan. As my mum said the other day, she, I, I asked her, w w was she doing a little video for, for my 50th? And she looked at me quite, well, a wee bit more strangely than normal. And she said, you're not nearly 50. Um, um, but no, these 50th episodes, um, yeah, they'll continue, but hopefully we won't get to the next 50 as quickly as yeah. we've got to this first 50. Um, hopefully it might take a couple of years to get to the the the, the 100, the ton mark. Um, but no, thank you. Um, I do know that everybody has, has enjoyed them. I suppose I've enjoyed them as well. Um, 
they started off, I think, maybe with three or four hymns, maybe 10, 12 minutes in length, mm-hmm. um, because they were twice a week to begin with. That's right, yeah. Um, but then they started getting a wee bit longer. More people were getting, I think, I think engaged is the word, and requesting things. And it turned into two half-hour stroke 40-minute episodes a week. So when it flipped to being weekly um, and me having a bit more time to do it, I've enjoyed figuring out how to make them look that wee bit more fancy or a wee bit more professional looking. Instead, Mm -hmm. he just actually looked up the first one the, the other day there to to find out what the first three hymns were and have a look at it and you'll see what I mean. I've got three hymn books <laughs> sitting on the organ. Yeah. Um, I hadn't even figured out at that point that I could record one hymn, then stop it <laughs> and then start it again when yeah. I had the hymn book open up. I'd, I'd looked up three hymn books and just played each one of them. Came along. <laughs> one after the other. I didn't cut it, I didn't edit it, I didn't do anything to it. And when I looked back in that, I kind of thought, I can't believe you didn't realise that you knew how to, didn't know how to edit <laughs> a video a year ago. But um, they have to have grown arms and legs. So that's why I think they kind of average about an hour and 15 yeah. minutes now. Yeah. Um, so, um, I, so I know that everybody's very grateful and I'm very grateful for them being grateful. Thanks, Stanley, for taking the time to put together some meaningful and thoughtful questions. And hopefully, folks, I answered them not too badly. The next hymn is one of Stanley Cook's most favourite of hymns. It's also been requested by Sheila Miller. As I alluded to earlier, Sheila is from Tweed Bank in the Borders. She has been following our Wednesday episodes for some time. She tells us that she's really been enjoying the hymns and music as she is so missing hearing the music in church. She is an alto and she says not a really good alto but I'm sure she's better than she makes out and she thinks that the programmes are presented well and has so many bits of information and details about people here at Bells Hill and the the hymns and tunes themselves. So thank you, Sheila, for that lovely, kind comment. What she tells us is that she looks up her old Methodist hymn books and compares them with those in CH4. And she especially does that if there's a Wesley tune or hymn included. So you've had one tonight, Sheila, so I hope you've looked it up. The hymn which you and Stanley love dearly is To God be the glory, great things he has done. And I know that it is a favourite of many, many people. So this is one where you can sing up, which you're not allowed to do if you were to be in church, and you can do it from the safety and comfort of your front room.
Our next request is going to be introduced by Anne Guy, member and choir member here at Belsell Central Parish Church. I've hopefully, Anne, included your suggestions for your little medley, but I also have included one which was suggested by Elspeth Dorman, so I hope, Anne, that you don't mind me adding it into the mix. So, over to you, Anne, to introduce our next section. Hello everybody and hi Alan. I would like a little request for your 50th edition of The Organist Entertains. My request is a bit of a blast from the past because I would love if you would play a little medley of all the little songs we used to sing in the Sunday School. I was a Sunday School teacher at Orbison for many, many years and every week we used to sing little choruses like Running Over, The Wise Man Built His House Upon the Rock, Climb, Climb Up Sunshine Mountain and Deep and Wide. It, I still love the little choruses when you sing them at Bell Cell Central and I would be, really appreciate a little medley of these songs. I would also like to take this opportunity, Alan, to say a very big thank you for all of your additions of the organist entertains. It's indeed amazing that you have reached the 50th edition and I for one am looking forward to the next 50. Please keep up the good work Alan because it's been amazing and how did we know that when this all started you would actually go global? You have been to Australia, Canada, South Africa, England, Ireland, Wales and of course Scotland. And it's so much appreciated every week and you have managed to keep us so much closer together. It's really nice to hear who has made the requests as well as you playing them. So congratulations Alan and getting to episode 50. I for one am looking forward to the next 50 editions of The Organist Entertains and thank you so much for your contribution. It's so much appreciated. Thanks Alan.
Hi Alan, uh, you were looking for video requests for The Organist Entertains. Uh, in about 1955, 56, I attended Glencairn Primary School in Motherwell and uh, we went for school dinners at lunchtime. And uh, before we had our meal, uh, we had to sing this little uh, hymn, the first verse of this little hymn. Let us with a gladsome mind, praise the Lord for he is kind, for his mercies I endure, ever faithful, ever sure. Amen. Alan, if you could play that for me, that the rest of that hymn, it would bring back some pleasant memories. Thank you very much indeed. June and Mary Baird, mother and daughter, members here at Bells Hill Central Parish Church, have requested our next item. It's the lovely hymn, Brother, Sister, Let Me Serve You, Let Me Be as Christ to You. It's a hymn that often features when our guild have taken our service, or when it's a service of an ecumenical nature where we welcome our Christian brothers and sisters of different denominations or other people of faith into our building. I particularly like the penultimate verse, which talks about us singing in harmony to God. And it's often something which I choose as an introit for the choir here at Bells Hill. So thank you so much, June and Mary, for requesting Brother Sister.
Our next item uh, has been requested by our friend Ed Anderson in South Africa. And we are going to have a video from Ed and Thelma, his wife, saying hello to us about how they feel and how they feel connected and how they're enjoying The Organist Entertains. The piece of music, though, which Ed has requested, and Ed requested a, a quite a long list of things a good number of weeks back, so we're getting through them slowly, is Ed's own arrangement of Hayden's Haydn's The Heavens Are Telling, the great chorus from the oratorio called The Creation. So we'll hand over to Ed and Thelma before returning for The Heavens Are Telling. Hello to everyone at Bells Hill Central Parish Church. Alan and Rev Kevin celebrating their, your 50th presentation of Organist Entertains. How exciting. Greetings from here in South Africa. Ed and Thelma Anderson. Thank you so much for the tremendous work and effort going into these presentations. It has become a highlight on a Wednesday evening for us here in South Africa when it is broadcast at 10 o'clock in the evening. I look forward to many more presentations. God bless. And here is Ed to say something. Hi all. We started our lockdown in, in, at the end of March last year. And we picked this program up when it was on episode eight. So I've been watching ever since. Our churches were closed, but we were allowed to reopen in October, closed down again at the end of December. We've now been allowed to open again, 1st of February, but have a maximum of 50 people allowed to attend. So this is causing a problem. But however, the work of God carries on, and we are happy in doing it. Bye for now. Thank you.
Moira Austin has requested the tune of Highland Cathedral as one of our favourite tunes to be included tonight. Now we had Highland Cathedral a few weeks ago and we had it to the words of land of my fathers. They will always be faithful and loyal to my own country, I think they are. So tonight, Moira, I hope you don't mind, I have used the hymn in our hymn book, Christ be our light, the bright and morning star, which is, of course, set to the tune of Highland Cathedral. I just love it when there is a tune or a melody which may have a secular origin, which then gets sacred words set to it. It just means that we can sing another lovely melody all that more often. So thank you, Moira, for requesting Highland Cathedral. Moving in to the last portion, so to speak, of tonight's Organist Entertains, we have a hymn which I thought would have been up there in the top tier, if I'm being honest. It's the hymn, Be Still for the Presence of the Lord. A hymn loved by many, and I know that it's loved by Susan McLeish. It was sang at her wedding here in the church and also included in the baptism service of Lyle, her son. I've played it quieter because I am aware that it is following after the heavens are telling, which has certainly blown away all the cobwebs here at Bells Hill Central. But I'm sure everyone, everyone will enjoy this hymn regardless of how it's played. So here we have, be still for the presence of the Lord.
Our next request, which I have to introduce, comes from George Clark. It's the hymn in the garden. Of course, the first line of the hymn is, I come to the garden alone, while the dew is still on the roses, and the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses. It's a hymn and a song which I know is much loved by many and has been suggested before. However, George has requested it as part of the 50th episode. So thank you, George, for requesting it. And it was your birthday on Sunday. So I do hope that you had a very happy birthday, albeit under lockdown conditions. But please be known that everyone here wishes you a very, very happy belated birthday. everyone. My favourite hymn is uh, At the Name of Jesus. Uh, it's been a, a favourite for a long time. Uh, it's nice to hear it getting played on the Organist Entertainers on a Wednesday night. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, so congratulations Alan on your 50th uh, episode of the Organist Entertainers uh, and hopefully we'll be back in the church soon. My favourite hymn is Will Your Anchor Hold, a well-known boys brigade hymn. It gets the old heart pumping. It also reminds me of the nights we used to have in the old church, Mullowell, at the BB dances, where we all used to meet and have a good time. And the organist entertains is one of those things. It's inspiring, and some of the hymns that are rousing 
also gets the blood flowing. Well done, Alan. We are both very proud of you. Well done, Alan. Thine be the glory, risen, conquering sun. This, unfortunately, is going to be the second Easter that we're not going to be in church as we would be normally, lifting the roof with that particular hymn as the concluding item of praise. This is a favourite hymn of both my dad and Jean MacDonald. So here we have this wonderful hymn which does have, Dad, all the stops out and your uh, toe will be tapping and the blood will be pumping as well as you put it, for thine be the glory. And thank you too for Jean MacDonald for requesting it as well. Hello Alan and friends at Bells Hill Central. Greetings and good wishes from the folks at Craig Lockhart Parish Church here in Edinburgh. I hope you can hear me over the, the wind and the traffic noise this afternoon. I'm a wee bit worried that this lockdown has ended and nobody has told me. Many have been tuning in to the regular episodes of The Organist Entertains and so enjoying the music and the requests that you have played. You have been a real shining beacon. Our very best wishes for this, the 50th episode, and we look forward to tuning in to many, many more, even once the lockdown has really ended. We're also looking forward to a great sing together once the doors behind me are able to reopen.
I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene as a favourite hymn of Jim Mackey, senior elder here at Belsall Central Church. It's also a favourite hymn of Jean MacDonald. So we had to include it because it's a favourite of two people. It's one of those hymns which will have the toes tapping, the feet clapping, and I'm sure that you'll be moving about, especially during the chorus. It's a wonderful hymn of praise, which we try to include as often as we can. And it's also featured in some of our big hymn sings here at Bells Hill Central. And I think it's been Jim Mackey that's been the person that's driven me to choosing it on those occasions. So here we have Jim and Jean's favourite. I stand amazed in the presence. <laughs> Coming to the end, we have our penultimate hymn request, requested by Joanne Downey, member here at Bells Hill Central and a singer in our choir. She has requested the hymn by Cool Siloam. She loves the tune, the melody, and quite often 
has it floating through her head and she hums it throughout the day. It also brings back good memories of the baptisms of her three grandchildren here in the church. And we recently have spoken about at online worship what baptism means to people and what it means as a significance in our Christian journey of faith. So it's really been very appropriate that you, Joanne, have picked probably one of the all-time favourite baptismal hymns that we have. So thank you for choosing by Cool Siloam. We have our final hymn in what has been a super duper bumper edition. The hymn has been requested by Mary and Ian MacLeod from Craig Lockhart Church in Edinburgh. They've sent this message introducing their hymn choice. We have so enjoyed being able to see and hear the wonderful videos week by week helping us to sustain our faith. We celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary some time ago, and they've attached a picture of that. And they are looking forward to the organist interchains joining them in the 50 Club. The first episode that they tuned into was our coming of age episode, the 21st episode. So it would be great if the same hymn could be played on the golden 50th. The hymn is Now Thank We All Our God, of course to the tune Nung Dank It. They say it's a short hymn of only three verses, but those lines which are set out before us remind us how wonderful and true the Christian faith is. And if memory serves correctly, Mary and Ian, that was one of your wedding hymns. So thank you for choosing. Such a wonderful hymn to finish our 50th episode. We do truly say thank you to everybody for all that has been made possible 
for this lockdown venture, keeping us entertained from Bells Hill Central Parish Church. As we close, I would just like to say a great big thank you to everybody who has contributed from episode one all the way through to this, the 50th episode. Whether it's just been tuning in, whether it's been commenting on the night, a day or two later, or whether it's been making requests, it's been such a privilege to help you through lockdown which unfortunately doesn't seem to be ending any time soon. Next week, the 51st episode, I am going to have a Bells Hill Central, Top of the Pops, classic call of fame, whatever we choose to call it, of the most requested hymns, songs and other items over the last 50 episodes. So I do hope that you don't mind a little break from the, the usual pattern of me introducing the hymns and songs week by week, where you're going to hear me introduce them at the time that they were requested. You're also going to see a very humorous journey for me through having various styles of hair. As our church treasurer reminds me often, are you not getting a haircut? Well, June, the, the barbers are closed at the moment, so my hair is becoming a little bit unruly again. But as we look over next week on episode 51, the hymns, songs, etc. that have been requested, you're going to see some beautiful sunshine coming through the windows.
you're going to see me in shorts some days and you'll be able to tell when things were relaxed a little bit because I was able to get out and have a haircut. But I do hope that you enjoy reminiscing with me as we look over some of the other favourite hymns, songs and requests which have featured throughout the Organist Entertains series. So it just leaves for me to say, keep safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next week for episode 51. As we conclude tonight, and I do encourage you to stay tuned, I'm going to show you some images of our lovely church building here at Bells Hill Central. We're blessed with some beautiful woodwork and we're blessed with some wonderful stained glass windows. Whilst you are looking and viewing these images, we're going to have a request from Alexa Walker, who I think I am sure you thought that I had forgotten. It's the Hallelujah Chorus, which I sometimes play at Christmas and New Year's time. However, this is a celebratory episode, so having the Hallelujah Chorus is just as well suited tonight as it would be on those other occasions. So thank you and tune in with us next week.